It was here along this road that Jefferson Davis, the president of the Confederacy, having crossed the Catawba at Nation Ford on April 27, 1865, fled south following the fall of Richmond. He was accompanied by the remaining members of his cabinet and a detachment of cavalry under General John C. Breckinridge. Previously on April 2nd, the Union Army had taken Petersburg, then Richmond, forcing Davis to flee. His flight would take a more serious turn when Lincoln was shot and died the next day on April 15th. Andrew Johnson became Lincoln's successor. He was known to have no mercy for the South. Johnson issued a $100,000 reward for the capture of Davis, saying he had a part in Lincoln's assassination. Needless to say, the search for Davis intensified. The cavalry got Davis and his remaining cabinet members to the city of Washington, Georgia, where the Confederate cabinet met for the last time at Hurd House with 14 members attending. Their despairing duty? Dissolving the Confederate government. After leaving the city, Davis was on the run again, along with his wife Farina and a hand-picked escort led by Given Campbell. On May 10th, Davis and his escort were captured by Union forces at the town of Irwinville, Georgia. President Davis's wife described his capture as terrifying. Very early in the morning, the Union troops came into Davis's camp yelling and threatening. As Davis tried to escape, his wife tried to get him an overcoat which would keep him warm and dry, but time was of the essence. Davis couldn't even find his hat. It would be 40 years later that the rumor that Davis had left in women's clothing would be dispelled. The Washington Post reported that research had found that the heavy black shawl that Davis was wearing over his head when he was captured was actually given to him to protect him from the cold by James Henry Jones, a slave and Davis's valet. Along this route, no doubt the South had seen its darkest days, as did their president, Jefferson Davis, as they bid farewell to their confederacy and, with that, their lifestyles and their beliefs.